Hello YouTube, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Doc Wilkie and what we have here today is a uh, review of the Leatherman Wingman. I have been carrying this now for the last several months as my multi-tool EDC item and I really do like this and I'm going to share it with you now. Uh, as an urban EDC person who's retired, it has on there everything that I need and without the extra size or weight that some of the larger Leathermans have on it. Because in my situation, I don't need every tool available. But this is perfect for me. Uh, just for the record, I do carry a Leatherman Super Tool that does have everything on it in my car, but not necessarily on my person. But uh, let's take a look at this, the Leatherman Wingman. First off, it's kind of neat because it has the two most used tools on the outside. It has a blade, which is two and a half inches long, and it is a locking blade. You can see there's a little picture of an open padlock, indicates uh, where the lock is located. It's partially straight, partially serrated, and I don't mind that. It works for me. Um, you can open it one-handed, but it's not going to be a real fast one-handed opening like a uh, pocket knife would be. And then the next item, and this is one of the reasons why I looked at the Leatherman's uh, Wingman. It has a pair of scissors and that stay locked into place until they lock here at the blade. Once it locks in, it releases the scissors. These are a really good size pair of scissors. I'm going to pull a Victor Knox pair of scissors here if I can find them. As you can see, the Leathermans are actually a little more substantial in size. And I'll be honest with you, out of all the tools on my Leatherman, the scissors is what I use the most. Matter of fact, and to this day, I have not used the knife blade, but I have used the scissors almost nah, four or five times a week easily. But like I said, once again, it's got a little open padlock here to disengage it. Once it disengages, the scissors lock close. That's kind of nice. Let's open her up. You have your needle nose pliers. Now, the one thing that's interesting about this is, as you notice, they spring open on their own, so unlike the old Leathermans that you had to actually open and close manually, if you were tightening something, you just have to relax your grip enough, it opens up, turn, and it just makes it easier to use. It does have a wire uh, cutter here, and then it has for tools. Back here we have a can opener. It has a file on one side, almost like a little pry bar or even a small screwdriver tip there. It has a ruler over here, which is both metric and English. And then this last item is a box opener, which allows you to cut, the, cut a box open without going deep into it and destroying what's inside the package. These blades do not lock in place. Only the scissors and only the main blade lock on these. These do not lock. On the other side, it has a standard and a Phillips screwdriver, and they're notched here to be used for wire strippers. Now, the other big reason I bought the Wingman over some of the other Leatherman models is the clip. I do like a pocket clip slash belt clip because I often wear uh, trousers that uh, do not have belts nor belt loops and so a lot of the Leathermen even though they come with really nice pouches I really have a hard time carrying them because I don't have a belt and I really don't care to change my entire wardrobe just to carry a multi-tool so for me this has worked out well I've not had any issues or problems with it um, if it does loosen up on you 
two Allen wrenches, one on each side. You can easily tighten it up or you could take it apart if you really need to give an extra good cleaning. So thank you for stopping by the homestead today. Hope this review has been uh, informative and useful for you. And have a great day and God bless.